Hi there, students. Nowadays, we seem to live in a virtual world. We live virtually. Okay, nowadays this word virtual is talking mostly about computers, about something that is within a computer system. Yeah, something electronic, not tangible or touchable. But what is this word virtual? What does it mean? What did it used to mean before we had computers? Okay, virtually means nearly, almost. So it's uh, so close that apart from a technicality, it is complete. So for example, um, the room was virtually empty. There was a virtual absence of people. Okay, so it's saying almost. I'm not saying there was nobody, but there were maybe one or two people in an enormous room. Okay, so virtually is saying almost not, or not apart from a technicality. So close that you could really call it like that. Notice, we use the word virtually much more than the word virtual in this sense, okay? Because virtually describes an adjective. So, the room was virtually empty. Virtually nobody uses a fixed telephone today. There is virtually nowhere you can get a drink after midnight. There is virtually nothing you can do. So I'm saying there is nothing you can do, but maybe uh, some really strange possibility exists. Okay. I have virtually no time left. I'm almost out of time. Okay, notice we use this word virtually for things that are absolute. I was thinking about there is a there are there is a virtual lack of people and words like lack don't go well with virtually because lack doesn't say zero it says not much the lack says there is a scarcity of but exists but what you can do is you could say there is virtually a total lack of time Okay, so if you add the word totally to virtually, an adverb describe, describing an adverb, then you can use it, because a total lack means zero. Okay, this is virtually impossible. Again, impossible is an extreme, yeah? It's either possible or not possible. Well, it's virtually impossible. The room was virtually silent, okay? There was a lack of noise. There was virtually a total lack of noise. Um, after the car accident, he was virtually dead, but the surgeon saved him. So he was almost dead. He was virtually totally dead. You could do it like that as well. I was virtually asleep when the uh, my friends knocked on the door. Okay, so I was all but the slightest bit snoring, and then my friends knocked on the door and woke me up. The possibility of this happening is virtually zero, is almost zero, it's nearly zero. It's not zero, it's 0 0.0000001, okay? The company is virtually bankrupt, okay? It's not bankrupt, but there is about that much left until it does become bankrupt. Okay, so this idea of virtually. We very often use virtually as well with virtually no noun. So I have virtually no time. I have virtually no money. 
I have virtually no friends. Okay, so it's saying it's not completely true, but the situation is almost like that. Okay, so next time you uh, go back to the virtual world, well, you're probably watching me in the virtual world on YouTube. Think about the other meaning of this word virtual and virtu virtually. I haven't given you many examples of virtual because it's much more difficult to do. Um, the plan was a virtual disaster. It was almost a disaster. But the plan virtually ended in disaster. Okay? So, virtually, almost. So, this video is virtually finished. I've only got to give the little end bit. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Virtual and virtually.